Welcome back. I want to continue on now for this week and the next few weeks uh, talking once again about uh, independence between the limbs. And uh, I want to use the um, ever so popular book by Ted Reed called Progressive Steps to Syncopation for the Modern Drummer. Uh, if you don't have this book, pick it up. It's a pretty simple book. I think it's mostly designed for learning how to read rhythms. Okay, so I learned this concept, this application uh, to this book, this particular book, and now we're referring to page 37, exercise one. That's a very popular page as well. And I got this, this uh, application to this page. Uh, I want to mention too that there's a, a lot of applications to this page. People have written whole books just about this page and how you can practice it. Well, this particular approach is by the great Tommy Campbell. He taught it to me. I'm sure he got it from somewhere else. And it's, uh, you're going to involve accenting uh, 16th note paradiddles. Now, by accenting the paradiddles with these rhythms, you're really creating melody with the paradiddles. OK, so this is how it works. Let me get my press pad out here. Um, now, we're talking 16th notes, right? So the rhythms in the first bar of page 37 are eighth note plus a quarter note plus an eighth note and then two quarter notes. Each eighth note, of course, which is equal to two 16th notes, the eighth note represents the accent, and you'd play a non-accented 16th note. One, two, three, four, one, eight, like that, right? Now, the quarter notes, that equal four 16th notes, you'd play a parallel on that. So that would sound like this. Three, four, parallel. So you put the eighth note plus the quarter note. Three, four, double parallel. That's the way that Tom used to say it, double parallel. Three, four, double parallel. Now, in that bar, it's eighth note plus quarter note, like I said, then another eighth note plus two quarter notes. So the second set of eighth note and quarter notes is the same as the first, plus the last quarter note, which is also a paradiddle, to round out the whole bar. So the whole bar would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Double paradiddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle, like that. Double paradiddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle. OK, great. So now we'll take a look at the first line of exercise one. We'll play the whole first system. One, two, three, four. Double paradiddle, double paradiddle, 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 triple paradiddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, triple double paradiddle, double paradiddle, diddle, diddle. Ha ha, right? I know I'm going kind of fast, but uh, this hopefully is making some sense to you. Now, <clears throat> let me take this off. Now we'll do the same thing. First, I'll start with the first bar, but we're going to add an ostinato with the bass drum and hi hat. Here's a pretty simple ostinato just to start with. One, two, three, four. Just quarter notes, alternating from kick to hat. Now let's look at that first bar and just loop it to get used to the feel of playing the, that parallel concept with this ostinato. One, two, three, four. Okay, so just do that for a while, just to get sort of in the pocket with it, make it feel good, learn sort of when, you know, things line up with the feet and hands and the hi-hat and hands and so on. Okay, then once you get comfortable with that, see if you can get through the whole first line with this concept. First line. Now, um, on this page, it, it, you'll notice that if you can get through the first three systems of this page, then the rest of the page basically plays the same rhythms that you find in those first three rhythms, but it varies them up. So if you can get through the first three lines, you'll notice the rest of it comes a lot easier. So here's the first three lines of uh, exercise one, page 37.
So um, hopefully that's straightforward enough. You understand what I'm doing. So I'll be using the paradiddle concept on my hands for the next few weeks. And I'll increasingly add a little bit more to uh, the Austin Adams on the feet just to sort of bump up the game a little bit week by week. OK, great. Have fun with this. I'll see you next week. If you want more information on this topic, just click on the link below and it'll take you where you need to go. Thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, show a little love and hit subscribe.